Hey guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I'm going to briefly talk about 10 ways that the S4 could potentially beat the iPhone 5. Now, um, I'm not going to state, uh, basically I'm just stating my reasons, whether I agree or disagree with these points on this article. I'm not a fanboy of any particular device. I own an iPhone 5, but I totally respect the Android and the S3. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's get started. So, uh, very first thing is display, better display. I do believe the S4 will have a better display. The iPhone 5 does not have an HD resolution. Uh, the 5-inch S4 is rumored to have a full HD 1080p resolution, and I really do think that uh, the S4 will have a better uh, display. So, removable battery, expandable storage, basically this. Uh, the iPhone has never had this. The S4 will have this because the S3 had this. Uh, so, you know, that's that. Better camera, I do disagree with this. I think the iPhone 5 has a much better camera. Uh, Samsung is not that well known for their camera. Uh, if they can step it up with the S4, maybe we'll see. But for now, I do not think the even the S4 will stand a chance with a better camera. Next up, easy software customization. This is basically uh, saying where on the iPhone you have to jailbreak to get cool tweaks and themes. On the Android, you have it all there for you already. Uh, this is kind of iffy because I feel like some people jailbreak just because it's fun to do and it gives them something to do. I do think that, uh, you know, I can't really pick one out of the two here because I feel like jailbreaking is just something totally different. I don't see how that's a negative aspect. Uh, so that's that. Uh, next, we have... Official wireless charging. This is just something uh, the iPhone has never had these had this the s3 has never had this s4 might though uh, We're not sure yet uh, That's that T-Mobile at launch once again. This is nothing too significant uh, pretty self-explanatory Quick price drops. I do agree with this with Samsung here uh, typically Samsung really has huge discounts on phones after they release them. Uh, you hardly ever see an iPhone on sale, so I do give credit for this to Samsung. Uh, next, NFC. This is basically where uh, you can use your phone to pay. This is something iPhone has never had. S4 might have this, but this is just still rumors and speculation. Um, Google Maps and Google Now. Uh, you know, for this, I'm not going to pick either one here. Because I feel like, you know, on the iPhone you have, you can choose between Apple Maps, Google Maps. Uh, sure, on Android there are a few more features that the iPhone is missing. But, you know, it'll take you to the right direction. You won't get lost or anything. But sure, Android has some better, like the Wikipedia in integration. They have some more, uh, you know, Google Map features. Uh, next, smart software. This is pretty much just saying that... Uh, the S or the Galaxy Note 2, um, Samsung has these specific features where you can uh, call somebody just by lifting up your phone. And I do give credit to that. You know, iPhone has yet to do something like this, so it does have a very smart software. But I still don't know if um, the S4 could just be classified automatically as better, the best, you know, phone out there. If somebody wants simplicity, and something easy to use they're probably gonna choose the iPhone but you know for now we don't know anything I'm not gonna sit here and decide because you know uh, I don't wanna choose one or the other I fully respect both devices that's pretty much it guys we're still yet to see what's going to actually happen I did hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and peace out